Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming on this early morning, this Monday morning, I should say. I want to introduce myself. My name is Rick Martin. I'm Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And it's such a distinct honor and pleasure to have you all here on this beautiful, warm day, I should say. We won't be here for long, but we have an exciting event for you. We're here to celebrate, celebrate an accomplishment long awaited, the accomplishment of the grand opening and groundbreaking of the Douglas County Government Annex Building. We're here for the ribbon cutting ceremony. I wanna thank you all again for coming. But before we begin, we'd like to introduce for the invocation, Pastor Ronald McClary, McCrary, excuse me, from the New Life Missionary Baptist Church for the invocation, please. Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you for this beautiful day. And we thank you for this momentous occasion. Thank you for this great county and its great leadership. Continue to bless us and keep us safe. It's in your matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor McCurry. Ladies and gentlemen, as I turn the time now over to uh, someone uh, who's in charge of our Board of Commissioners, I want to introduce our first speaker, the Honorable Chairman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, Chairman Ramona Jackson Jones. Good morning. Look what God has done again. This is an amazing day, and uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Today is a new beginning, a new era, for the delivery of 21st century services here in Douglas County. Thank you, and good morning again. It is a pleasure that all of you all came out to be here to cut the ribbon as we inaugurate and celebrate this great day. Um, it has taken a lot of time and effort to get here, and I want to say thank you to the Board of Commissioners for having the foresight uh, to bring this wonderful building here because these services were so much needed. These additional uh, services were needed here in Douglas County and should I say this building. Uh, before I go any further, I would like to formally introduce the Board of Commissioners. Uh, we have today with us uh, Vice Chairman uh, Commissioner Kelly Robinson. If you just raise your hand, please. We have District, of Commis uh, District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III. Please give him a hand. We have District 3 Commissioner Michael Mulcair. Please give him a hand. And last but not least, we have District 4 Commissioner Ann, Guider, Ann Jones Guider. I always want to ruin her name, but thank you. Give her a hand as well. She had an instrumental, uh, she was very instrumental in this building today and will be uh, certainly um, serenading her a little later today. Uh, well, should I say in a few minutes about her greatness and her vision regarding this building. Thank you so much, uh, Commissioner Guider. Um, I would like to proceed with thanking everyone that was involved in this amazing uh, building. Would like to recognize our tax commissioner who's been so involved in this building. Uh, Mr. Gregory Baker, would you please, or should I say tax commissioner Baker, please raise your hand. Today we celebrate the new beginnings in Douglas County and the official opening of the Douglas County Annex Building, which includes several areas in this building. We have the tax and tag, we have the tax assessors and the GIS uh, building. Also, we're here to celebrate our fleet uh, management building and our property management building. We have three in one. I love this campus. It's almost like a college campus, so please feel free to come by and hang out because we have an amazing team. I would like to thank the staff for your diligence and your patience and your perseverance for making this possible because I watched you all move in box by box and every one of you had a ham, hand on this, so I appreciate you. And I know you're excited about your new office spaces, and please save one for me. I may come visit sometimes, but I just wanted to let you know you all have done a great job, and it's an amazing uh, day here in Douglas County. I would like to thank our Sheriff Department for being here as well and supporting us in our needs as we move forward. I, our Board of Commissioners actually, our, our former, should I say, Chairman uh, Wortham, had a hand in this uh, and the foresight as well. 
But I feel honored because I had the uh, opportunity to sign off on the construction, uh, Leachy Construction. If we have anybody here from Leachy Construction, please uh, raise your hand. And if not, I would like to thank, oh, thank you so much, Leachy Construction. You have done a phenomenal job. You have transformed something that really was, um, uh, it looked rather incredible. Once uh, we looked at it, I said, how are they going to make it look like this? And you all have done a great, great job, so thank you. I would like to also just thank all the individuals who had a great part in this construction. Uh, we had some labor, uh, inmate labor here as well. We had a couple other companies, so I, I don't want to miss anybody. So I just wanted to thank you for being here. And finally, I would just like to just um, say that this is a great day. Uh, I am honored to be here. I am so excited about what Douglas County is doing. And this is just another moment in time. And I appreciate, and I, you know what, I would be remiss to, I miss two people. And I want to um, acknowledge these people. County Administrator Mark Till, let's give him a hand. And Mr. James Worthington, who had a real big hand in this as well. And then we have a couple of directors that work in this building that had to push this thing forward. And I just really appreciate them. We had uh, uh, Director Benny Waldroff, if, if he's here, like to give him a hand. <laughs> Mr. Ed Dean, who was very instrumental in this building. Mr. Gary Jenkins, D Director Jenkins. All of these are directors who had made this happen. So I don't want to really forget those who really made this happen. And thank you so much. And I, at this time, I will turn it over to the next speaker. But again, congratulations on this new building. And I look forward to cutting the ribbon. Uh, we do at the Board of Commissioners. Thank you. As Chairman Jones uh, just moments ago acknowledged uh, Commissioner Mulcair, we like to hear a few words from Commissioner Mike Mulk here, please. I can see the excitement building to hear from me. But uh, yes, it is a great day. What a beautiful building. And there's several people I want to call out by name. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, Commissioner Ann Jones Guider. She broached this topic, I don't know, three years ago about acquiring the Blakely building. And I pushed back. I said, no, uh, uh, I'm bearing my soul now. I said, no, that's a commercial property. I hate to see it taken off the tax base. And uh, maybe we can get some business to, to move in there. Uh, but as time went on and the uh, proposal became more and more attractive, uh, I changed my opinion. So my hat's off to, uh, to uh, Commissioner Guider uh, for leading the way on this. I also want to thank uh, past Chairman uh, Tom Worthen for being on the board at that time and helping to uh, move the finances and the financial decisions along to see this happen. Obviously, the entire commission uh, has supported it, and for good reason, more, more parking <laughs> at the courthouse and a much better facility. And i tell you who I'm really, really happy about is our fleet maintenance folks and the facility they have in the back of this building. If you've ever been to Chicago Avenue and see how they work on fire trucks and, uh, and uh, sheriff's deputy cars and that sort of thing, uh, this is a huge, huge uh, step up in terms of safety and efficiency for those guys. And I thank them for waiting so long. Uh, with that said, I'm not going to reprise all the remarks that uh, Chairman uh, uh, mentioned. There's so many people to thank, uh, but just uh, thank them again and thank everyone for being here. Have a good day. So to hear how, the, how this came about, how the Blakely Building turned into the Douglas County Government Annex Building, uh, Commissioner Mulcair just mentioned, Commissioner Ann Guider-Jones. Let's hear from District 4 Commissioner Ann Guider-Jones right now. Ann Jones Guider. <laughs> they all get it wrong. I, I'm still called Ann Jones. But back in 2014, uh, there was a lot of talk about passing another, another splash just to build an administrative building. And I kept seeing this building, on, you know, with the signs, for sale, for sale. And you know how women are. Uh, if something's on sale, uh, you got to look into it. And I asked the <laughs> and it was a bargain, $1.5 million for uh, 
what we bought, uh, which was originally the RV uh, of uh, John Bleakley. But uh, my points of interest was the, the proximity to the existing courthouse and plenty of parking space, plus it was gonna free up parking at the courthouse. And if anybody's ever went around and around the parking lot at the courthouse, you know what I'm talking about. The accessibility to the public being on a main road um, and relocating heavy trafficked uh, offices like the TAG and the tax office and the appraisal department. Um, the possibility of moving the fleet up here, bless their hearts, have you, if you've ever been to Chicago Avenue. <laughs> uh, they had a waterfall every time it rained that went right into the bays. And some of the bays were not, I don't think they worked on the fire trucks. They had to send them off somewhere because the uh, bays weren't big enough. Got plenty of space back here. Um, and uh, just uh, the, the, the main thing is we needed the floor space in the courthouse to accommodate the growing court system. So uh, to see this come to fruition is a great honor and a privilege, and uh, I, thank, uh, I thank everybody that was involved in it. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Ann jones Guider. Uh, I'd like to introduce our tax commissioner, Gregory Baker, next, please. Good morning. Thank you for showing up. You know, everybody's been thanked so far, but I really want to thank all the commissioners for all your support, uh, management for their support, James Worthing, who's worked tirelessly on this project. You know, some nights I called him at 11 o'clock, 11.30 at night, had a problem. He answered the phone, uh, and he's worked very hard on this, and I really want to thank you and Gail Woody next door, who's been very supportive of us also over here. And also, I'd like to thank my staff, who worked tirelessly to get this building into shape. Two very special who just worked and getting the furniture and all the stuff here is Jennifer and Terry, would you come forward so people can see you? I'd like to thank my family for being here. And most of all, I'd like to thank the citizens of Douglas County. This is your building. We work for you. We got some glitches. We'll get them worked out. Be patient. But this is your building, and hopefully we will serve you to the best of our ability. And if you have a problem, please let us know. We're here to help fix any problems we, we have with this building and with your service. But again, we're here to support and work for you. And please come and let us know any problems you had. And thank you all for coming. I'm going to keep it short because it's getting hot out here. <laughs> so in addition to the tax commissioner's office and the tag office that's in here as well, so is the appraisal department. Next, we have uh, some brief remarks from Chief Appraiser Benny Waldrop. I do want to thank the citizens of Douglas County, the Board of Commissioners, all the other individuals that's been mentioned. We are so thankful for our new building, and we pledge this. We're going to work even harder to do a better job always to serve you. Just a reminder that the deadline to file an appeal on your property taxes on the assessment is next Monday, August the 13th, 5 o'clock. So if you haven't got your appeal in, we'd like to. We invite you to go ahead and do it. Call in if you need to have some directions as to how to, we can help you. We just want to serve you better. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Mr. Waldrop. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for, I want to introduce and thank the Douglas County Chamber, uh, who's helping us with the uh, moment we're about to uh, experience, the ribbon cutting ceremony. 